Hey guys, we're here for the gameplay with the Dimensional Shift build on Blackheart's Bay. Interesting team comp. Three assassins, a tank, and myself, the support. See, they've got two tanks and an Asmodan, Nova, Zeratul, two cloakers. So, Mental Acuity on four is going to be really useful here. Reinforced structure on this map isn't that good to begin with anyways because of the cannonballs and how strong they are. Though I wonder, you might be able to take an extra cannonball with that. It's something to test out, definitely. Uh, but with two cloakers, we'll definitely go with Mental Acuity. And now, mm, just a question of do we want the range or do we want the mana? I almost feel like we want the range just to interrupt turn-ins. Mm, now, unfortunately, our Jane is just dead. Uh, <laughs> gotta be careful going in. When we didn't have Vala with us, I would not have recommended going into the... Uh, Into the the bulls out here, the uh, the watchtower. Go ahead and get the globe. We got to fight over these. Trying to kill him, alright. To watch out for that Nova. I think we're able to get the coins still here. I am so low though, I can't even get that globe. Oh, I'm out of, I think I'm dead now, yeah. I used my shield on Jaina, and I couldn't dimensional shift out of there. Um, I probably should have just dimensional shifted and not used the shield. I think she would have been fine. We got four coins out of that. We're behind a little bit. She's gonna need some help. Oh, but now we're leaving lane. I don't wanna. If the new Brax there, I'm gonna go mid lane because we're you, lane XP is still important here. I get those. I didn't even need that globe because I hadn't taken any damage, but. And one of their guys died. Okay, the Arthas, nice kill. Let's looking to see if anybody's taking the watchtower. Taking the mental acuity here. And that range makes casting these storms so easy. He's gonna have to burn through my shield, but the Jane is gonna come in with a nice flank here. Nice flank. That was beautiful. And then with Blizzard and Storm, you're going to clear waves insanely fast. Nova doesn't do too much damage at this point. But I think we can push this. Oh, that was to zone out. Gonna tap well. We're at four coins. All right, new barracks in trouble. You can see that Oracle's already up. Just want to dismount him. I'm gonna use dimensional shift here just to be super safe. I didn't really need to. There's still a Zeratul around here somewhere, I'm, and I'm using a lot of mana for this. I wouldn't be this that far out right now, but I gotta watch out for my buddy here. Mr. Anu Brock. There's a cloak around here somewhere. There we go, we got a turn in from Vala. Nice job. Alright, so level 7, you could take the extra survivability, but I feel like damage is going to be good here. Um, I don't have anything for him. We've got a shield up now. I'm going to save. There we go. Okay, so Mule not really good on this map. It's kind of a, a case do you want dimensional shift? Or do you want the extra damage? I think the damage is good. Deep shift wouldn't be terrible either with all these cloakers. Um, late game that could definitely be viable, but I'm gonna go with charge. And I think you'd be okay with either one. 
We have three assassins, so we have a good amount of burst. Um, I just want to, you know, if, if we didn't have a new Barak, I would definitely add, have gone uh, for the other one, Deep Shift. Took the route on seven. We can back up anytime. And that's why you say dimensional shift. Alright. Archon. I need to tap the well again. Popping the Archon right as that void prison goes down. That was a beautiful void prison. Great play. From the uh, the Zeratul there, and Oracle is about to be back up. Oh. I could have used dimensional shift there, but wasn't too worried, too concerned. I'm out of mana. We do get it a turn in, and then we can mount up and get out. In this case, I'm gonna walk back because of those cloakers. Just inside my gates to be super safe. Alright. Looks like my monitor died, I think. There we go. Alright, it's back up. Nope, it died again. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully the recording's still going through. Um, I'll have to figure that out after this game. This Zeratul man, oh, he's got it. He knows. He knew what he was doing. And we'll come here and clear the wave. I wanted to go up top to help. Tassadar is great wave clear. I think... Hopefully they're alright and they don't commit too hard without me. Not the one I want to attack. Okay. Oh, that guy is going to... Mm. I was hoping they would wait till I cleared the hard camp. Unfortunately, they didn't. I mean, I could have let the hard camp push, but I didn't want to let that do so much damage, um, especially against an Asmodan. But you know, they, we lost some coins. I think it could have been worse. We're still ahead. They got the turn it off before it happened. Try to kill the general here first. Oh. Oh, that was for Zeratul when it went on. The Anubarak. Now that Nova could burst me through this, so I had to be careful. She could automatically just burst me through the prescience, so you do have to be careful. Around a Nova. Um, oh, we almost lost the Zeratul. I think better play there, we might have been able to save the Jaina. I used the shield on the Zeratul early. 
And I probably wouldn't, if I did it again, I probably would have put that on the Jaina instead. Uh, but, it, you know, it works out. If we get this turn in off, we'll get another fort. Looks like Vala's in trouble. Gonna use that to get out of his Sindragosa. Oh. Now, we'll see if we can get out. Mm. That didn't go so well. I think he's just going to die, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So here, we will take the increased move speed. Asmodan's being Asmodan. Um, we never got that last turn in off. Unfortunately. We're a little bit short. We can get Asmodan though. Jaina's got the wave clear. Saving the Oracle, uh... They just turned in. Mm, probably not the best Archon. It is down now for the team fight, unfortunately. But I thought maybe there'd be more than two of them, and there were there wasn't. It was just two. Okay. Nice void prison on his part. She's in trouble. Maybe we can get Chen here, possibly. He's gonna get stunned. Yeah, we got Chen, alright. Zeratul even too? Oh, so close. If I had mana, I could storm him. Probably wanna get out. Oh, crikeys. I just missed a shield on him. It shall be done. Running back into the uh, big ring here, it's pretty easy to see the enemy coming. With dimensional shift, I'd be able to escape too. So I'm pretty safe to back there. Uh, meanwhile, bottom line is getting pushed. Almost had the Zeratul out. I think just if I'd had mana there, we could have done a little bit better. We could have gotten the keep. Um, did not, unfortunately, have any. Oh. Okay, that's the clone. There's an Asmodan. I think we can get him. Hmm. Almost, almost. He made it out, I think, though. Yeah, he's down there. Okay. We're just chasing a little too far, I think. With those lanes pushing against us, probably want to get back and defend. Uh, they're going to let him go. We'll get this chest. Are gonna have to go back and defend. This camp's not doing. 
Actually, he's dead. I'm not even going to attack, just get the XP for it. And there, I think I could have just gone with them. With the Zeratul down for 50, we have to be careful. There's just with so many cloakers, you have to be so careful, like leaving yourself out. Gonna tap the well. We probably want to turn in. I think they're, yeah, they have a turn in. They might get it. We don't have Zeratul with us, unfortunately. Oh, the Nubarax way out. Kill. They should have to follow back fall back now. Okay. Ah, couldn't get back to safer though. Alright, so that's their whole team. I uh, almost got back in time to save Regina. That would have been the one thing I would look at. See if I could have done better there. Um, I think I'm going to back. We can definitely go get boss. They're all dead. It would be good just to go for the boss, but... I'm just going to walk on up. Hit the well for that mana on the way, and then... Should get a free one. Not sure. He's pushing that lane back. Okay. Now, they're 20. They have three resurgences. I am tempted to take one as well. I don't know. With the other survivability, I don't think I really need it. Unfortunately, our Zeratul just died. And that leaves us exposed up here. This is really risky. Kind of wish more people would come, but at least maybe this way. They won't think that we're doing it. Who knows? They could be in the smoke right now. He did that too early, fortunately. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly, yeah. Uh, we needed people to go with us, and we didn't have people go with us. The Zeratul was on the hard camp or something. I don't know what everybody else is doing. So that's why we just lost that. We, uh, Honestly, looking at that, again, I might just say, okay, look, we can't take this. Let's back off to the Anubarak. Because we didn't have the other teams come. That would have been a free boss. Uh, we would have finished it a lot sooner. Even with just one more person, we would have finished it before the Zeratul could do anything. So... Yeah, you know, in a situation like that, all you can really do is pull back and not take the, the golem. You know, you kind of just have to give it up because your teammates aren't cooperating. You kind of have to give it up. You can't, you can't really do what we did. It's not a, I don't think that's a smart play. Now they've got map control. They've got coins. Um, you know, we're even in levels, but we're behind now. Pretty much. I mean, we still, we're still up in a fort, right? We have this keep, but they have a turn in. 
now. And this is at half. Honestly, if we just gotten that, it would have been so, so much different. The way the game would have turned out. I want to make sure that they're safe on the hard camp. I think they've got it. Just coming down here in case Asthma wanted to push. We need to group up, really. sure about that yeah I think this is going to go south really fast uh, yeah that's just a zone out And there you can see I tank the shot and then I use my dimensional shift and I'm out pretty quickly. This is not a good play by Vala. Okay. You just gotta be careful with cloakers, you can't be that aggressive. So yeah, they got another turn in now, and it's not looking too good, but it's still doable. We, we have two keeps left to get through. Resurgence, though, yeah. And that's the thing with three resurgences, it's just a little ridiculous. I almost wish you could limit that per team. But it's a little. I don't know, I'm sure Blizzard will look at it in the future. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we kind of threw this match, honestly, just by not getting the boss. Um, then the team fight at the turn in threw it as well, uh, just being out of position. I don't think we can win it now, honestly. We'll keep going, but being this far behind, I they do need a lot of a few more coins for a turn in. But they have three resurgences and we're not winning team fights, so it's unfortunate. But games like this will happen. to do that. That was a weird Sinjagosa. It kind of hit a second later. My ping's not terrible. Alright. So 
So I believe they're at seven coins. They need two more, and it should be easy to get that from like right there. So it's gonna be game with that. Thought maybe I'd be able to stop the turn in, but it just wasn't there fast enough. Can't shield the core. And that's gonna be game. It's okay. So, I mean, we showed off the build a bit, and it, this is more about just like team comp, positioning, kind of the choices we made in the game, why that didn't work out. Um, still get a ridiculous amount of healing with this. Uh, and hopefully your games work out better than that. I mean, you know, for your sake. But, you know, it's... Thinking about... Uh, thinking about Tassadar. And the build. I'm almost tempted to have taken Deep Shift there, but I still think Static Charge was needed. I just needed that to get the extra damage out off of the, on the Storms. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of something you have to try out for yourself. Because you give up damage if you take Deep Shift on 7 instead of t Static Charge. That's the one thing I'm thinking about. Mental Acuity I feel good about. Uh, the range worked out nicely. You know, I was short on mana at times, but that's going to happen. Anyways, you're going to run out eventually. Thinking Archon, obviously, is the right choice. Now, in a case like that, would I ever, would I recommend going, like, the old build with, like, the Slow and the Static Charge? Um, I don't think damage was the problem there. I don't think that's why we lost. I think it was because we were out of position. Uh, like when we went to get the boss, it was two of us going. We should have just backed off. The Anubarak and myself should have just backed off. Um, it's unfortunate. You know, you're going to get that a lot of times in solo queue. And what you have to recognize is in the case where we went to the boss, it's like, I can't make the other three players follow us. The only thing I can do is control what I do. So really I have to recognize that they're not there and just back off. And just not take the boss. I think the, taking the boss is the right call. I think it's what we should have done if people had gone, but it was just two of us. And so the right decision in that sense is back off, let it go, take it later maybe. Uh, but it didn't help our cause any going in to try and take it. And then we ended up losing it and they stole it. Um, so the only thing that I could have done better there is just backed off and not, not tried to take it as two. It was super risky. Uh, and unfortunately we didn't have backup from the rest of the team. The other fights, there was a turn-in fight that went... We still had a chance to win the game, and the fight at the turn-in went downhill. Uh, the, I think it's probably because the Anubarak just went sliding in headfirst, and not something I would do against you know Nova and Azeratul that are going to blow you up. You're a very squishy tank. And so once he went down, the rest of us had to kind of disengage. Um, and we did. All three of us, I believe, made it out alive from that. Uh, so there's nothing really we could have done better. It's kind of like a misplay in that we jumped in so soon. The team fight positioning could have been better. Um, and I think I only had like two deaths, right? So one on the boss. And then there was, I guess, another team fight where I died. Uh, oh, yeah. When I used, it was like top lane and I used the shield instead of saving mana for a dimensional shift. But that was when I saved somebody else's life, in a sense, and traded my own. Um... Oh, I could. I guess I could have had more mechanics. No, but yeah. So that that shows the build off. You got to think about like the build, and then think about the the gameplay because they're kind of two separate things. Um. But yeah, so that you know, hopefully that that works for you. You can try it off. It's a lot of fun. That dimensional shift, the upgrades make it so hard to kill you. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, Tassadar's is fun to play, anyways, in general. So there it is. Go ahead, give it a shot. Try it out. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Still have another like half of the hero pool left to do. We are going to be you know getting onto that and doing that pretty soon, and um, hopefully before the 13th of January, we'll have most, if not all, of the heroes done. Have at least one guide for them. And as always, leave your questions below. If you know if you like this, go ahead subscribe for more for more content. Um, like it, share it, all that you know, good stuff. Let me know what you think. If there's something you want, like I said, this was a request, so I'm open to doing requests as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.